to the gym it is currently 5 30 and i'm going with joel happy spring reset we're gonna do a little spring reset today but first thing on the list is a workout because i like to start every single day week day with a workout i just heated up my bone broth on the stove and pouring it into my cup to take it in the car i've been using a different bone broth recently just because i wanted to try out different ones this one is like already pre-mixed like i don't need to add any hot water to it but i don't know it's okay. It tastes pretty kind of like spicy, this one. It has a lot of flavor, which is good, but my all-time favorite one is like the concentrate. It's just so good. Anyways, I gotta get going, but cheers to spring and our reset today. Let's go work out. It's still so cold in the mornings. I'm so excited for it to be bright at this time when the summer rolls around because then it'll be so bright at five and it'll be nice. We get some natural light to wake up to maybe. I think the sun sets that early in the summer. Got my gym bag. I'm gonna hit the sauna today so I also have a towel and we're good to go. Oh, gotta get my bone broth. <laughs> Cute little all black gym outfit. I always feel most confident at the gym with all black on. I don't know why, I just love it. and your smoothie are such a good way to do some added protein and they also have like a bunch of other good things in them definitely recommend putting some of these in your smoothie it's such an easy addition to leave the house first stop mission of the day is grocery shopping because i haven't gone grocery shopping yet this week and i just feel like today's a perfect day to go since we're resetting for spring i have honestly not been eating the healthiest recently and so i really want to get back on track with my diet this spring lately i have been indulging in too much it's been my birthday i've used that as an excuse and everything in moderation i believe in that but at the same time i have really been overindulging for my skin i'm not supposed to have any dairy but i have been having a little bit of dairy and not a little bit a lot sometimes so i need to cut that back out because i feel the difference also i need to step back on my sugar intake guys sugar is like the most most addicting thing in the world like I wish that I could quit sugar but it's so hard it's not like I have to quit it but it just I feel so much better like my skin looks better I feel better internally 
when I don't overdo the sugar. So I'm really trying to also not completely cut that out, but just minimize it. But hey, it was my birthday month in March. So that was an excuse. But anyways, this is my outfit of the day. I just want it to be super, super comfy today. We're just going to be running around doing errands. So I got my Adidas um, new actually shoes on that I got recently. I love the color of these. They scream spring. And I think that they're so cute. And these ones are only like 100 bucks. I'll try to find a link for you guys and link them down below. But these are such a slight and they're so freaking comfortable. And then I just put on my garage, um, what are these called? Sweatpants. And then my Aritzia gray tank top to match. And then of course we got our sunglasses on because it's actually a nice day out today. So this is the shopping outfit of the day. Not forget to bring the grocery bags. These are my favorite reusable grocery bags ever. The Trader Joe's ones, so good. Okay guys, I just got to the grocery store. As you can see, the sun is out today. Feels like spring, I love it. I love these springy vibes. It's nice to switch it up from the depressing rain. Vancouver's rain all year round. Like, we don't get a break, so this is very, very nice. Sorry, not all year round. Mostly every, all year round though, <laughs> like 90%. But anyways, I just realized I got to the grocery store and I do have a list of what I need to get because I've been writing it out throughout the week, but I have no idea what I'm gonna do. For dinners this week, actually yesterday I made the best chicken chipotle bowls. Like, you know when you go to chipotle you get like a bowl like a burrito bowl i made those but homemade and wow it was like the best one of the best meals i've ever made in my life i don't know what was so good about it i think i made the chicken like amazing it was just i'm shooting my own horn here but i'm serious i made it amazing and it's making me want it again tonight so i just have to get some more chicken thighs for that chicken thighs i like them so much better than chicken breasts or any other part of the chicken because it's so much more moist and i cooked them to perfection they were so good so maybe i'll make those again tonight because i already have beans and corn left over and a little bit of rice in the fridge anyway so we need to use that up so i feel like if i just buy more chicken thighs it's gonna be perfect so i can have that tonight and then i just need to figure out a couple meals for the rest of the week i don't know i feel like i'm really bored of my meal rotation that i have going on right now because it's more wintry it's more like soups hearty meals and just like things you would want in the winter so i kind of want to switch that rotation up a bit and make it more springy so i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but i'm just gonna kind of scroll on pinterest see what i can make this week maybe i'll honestly just do like if they have ground beef maybe i'll just buy that and make a stir fry just to make it easy because i feel like that's pretty springy with like some broccoli anyways that's the vibe i'm just gonna look over my grocery list review it to make sure that I have everything we need on there because if it's not written down on my grocery list i'm not buying it i am forgetting that we ever needed it that's why it's like having a list i prioritize that or else i'm gonna leave here with like five things that we need that are not there so i need to make sure everything's written down <laughs> guys i just got back so i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul first off i just got this organic caesar salad kit so much easier than making salad i know it's more expensive but it's just worth it to me then i got some strawberries nothing signifies spring more than fresh fruit fresh fruit is in season guys i'm so excited to go to the farmer's markets and stuff in the summer so strawberry sleigh and then i just had to get a mango these are my favorite types of mangoes i just got one if you ever get mangoes get this kind i don't know what they're called but this is what they look like so so good and they're coming in season then I just got some broccoli. I got some chicken bone broth. This is the one I've been having recently, but in the beef version. So I wanted to try the chicken. And then I just got some salsa. This is the best salsa brand, by the way, because it has such clean ingredients. And then we needed more olive oil. So I picked this organic extra virgin olive oil up. And then of course, no surprise here, bubbly water. This is all dirty with broccoli, but I picked up some cottage cheese. Joel has been eating this up recently because he's been trying to get in more protein. And then we ran out of coffee beans. So I picked this one up and it's supposed to be chocolate caramel flavor. So 
we'll see about that. It's just ground beans to do in our Smeg espresso machine, but it smells really good. So I'm excited. Then I got a cucumber because I really want to make these tuna cucumber sandwiches that I found on um, Pinterest. I'll show you guys right now, actually. So I saw these on Pinterest and I'm like, oh my gosh, that would be so good if I did like a little tuna action in the middle. These look amazing for like a snack in the middle of the day and also really good protein. So that's what I plan on using this for. And then I just got two avocados and then I just needed a restock on some spices. I got onion powder, paprika, cumin, oregano. I'm supposed to have one more, but I don't know where it is. Maybe it's in here actually. Second bag, got these brown rice chips. These are like a healthier version of Doritos. So good. And then I got these beet chips. Got some gluten-free pancake mix just for the weekend as a little treat because I always like a good sweet breakfast on the weekends. Dairy-free chocolate chip, root beer, zevia, obviously some raspberry lemonade kombuchas. What the heck? I bought garlic powder and it's not here. Maybe she forgot to like put it in the bag. I should check my receipt or maybe I dropped it. I don't know. I'm on my way over to Meridian Meats and I got some extra lean ground beef. I got two pounds. Got her to package them separately. So one pound and one pound. I just realized guys, she accidentally packaged me four pounds of ground beef. I wanted just one in one pound and I guess she misunderstood what I said. No wonder why it was so expensive. I was really confused. I guess we just have extra ground beef. And then I just got some honey garlic chicken wings. I was supposed to get chicken thighs, but they didn't have any. So. So anyways, that is the grocery haul. I'm gonna put everything away now. Just put my strawberries in this cute little crate. I got these from Superstore, by the way, last year or maybe even a couple years ago now, but how cute. I have one in this blue and then a white one, but it's, it's just perfect for the spring vibes and also summer. I'm just imagining me going to the farmer's market, getting fresh fruit and then filling one of these up or both of them up. I just love the vibes of this, like how cute. And it's gonna go right in my fridge. And then now the strawberries are washed and I can just pick one out and eat them whenever, which is super nice. It is time to organize the pantry in my cleaning video. I didn't do this. I wanted to save it for this video and I want to put away my groceries, the rest of them, the pantry stuff, but I just really want this to be clean first. So let's do a little bit of a ginormous clean because it's not that it's like dirty. It's just very, very messy and cluttered. So I want to rearrange everything, make sure everything in here is like good because I feel like we always finish boxes and bags and then just literally leave it in there when the garbage is right here. So let's clean this. that my credit card statements have been somehow increasingly just getting higher and higher and that led me to think what is happening and then i realized that it's because i have so many subscriptions that i am signed up for that i don't even use and that i didn't even know were there it's honestly really hard to track all my expenses all my finances by myself thankfully today's sponsor rocket money is here to help rocket money is the app that you need to save more and just overall manage your money better this personal finance app allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, make a custom budget, and grow your savings account all in one place. And with things like canceling subscriptions, you can actually do it in the app on Rocket Money. So you don't need to worry about staying on the phone with somebody to cancel something. And they can also help you lower and negotiate your bills with things like the internet, your phone bill. It also analyzes your spending habits so it can create a custom budget. So yeah, guys, while you can, take control of your finances and go to rocketmoney.com slash Michaela Bento to get started today for free. I truly believe we can all be abundant together.
just got home and I cut myself the mango that I bought today because I just need a snack before dinner. How yummy does she look? It's like perfectly ripe. Just looks like it's gonna be so sweet. If you guys don't cut a mango like this, what are you doing? This is the best way to eat it. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then I will give you guys a haul from the mall. Okay guys, I may have done a little bit of damage at Aritzia. We got a jumbo bag for the spring haul. I love their little photos on the bag. They're so springy and I'm here for the vibes. I've just been super bored of my wardrobe recently. So I just wanted to splurge a little because I feel like I never do that. So I guess you could say this is a bit of a spring haul, but let's get into it. So the first piece that I got is this jersey. I know that these are super in right now. I think it's really, really cute. And I feel like it is springy if you wore this out with like a cute pair of baggy jeans, baggy cargos, whatever. And like a mini purse, that would be such a cute outfit or even a mini skirt with this. That would be so cute. And I really love the white and blue on it. This is a sleigh. I'm usually an extra small, but I got this in a small. They didn't have extra small. So I was like, whatever, it's oversized anyways. I have been lacking in the workout set department. I feel like so many of my workout sets are really, really old and I haven't gotten new ones in a long time. One of my favorite workout brands is Aritzia. So now that they restocked on everything because they rebranded, I just had to buy stuff. So I got this really, really, really cute gray set. I've been actually, I think manifesting a gray set into my life because I just, I'm literally wearing all gray today. What is this? I don't know why I love the color gray. I think it's because my dark hair stands out when it's like lighter colors but i got these aritzia golden light leggings and i vibe with the color i can see myself wearing them all the time because it's just like a neutral color and then i got it with the aritzia golden life um sports bra in the exact same shade cute i didn't need to do this but i did get the matching tank top and the material is so soft is this soft whip so wearing this all as a set with like the sports bra underneath would be so cute also layering workout sets and tops is so in right now so having like a workout sports bra and layering a workout tank top over top even if it's like mishmash colors is really trendy i can also mishmash this tank with like a bunch of workout sets but what i've realized i don't know what it has been recently i've been loving a good full length top and legging combo for the gym and for working out i don't know why i'm just like not too into the sports bra moment right now depending on the sports bra so this is a sleigh and then i couldn't help myself guys i got a another workout shirt but this has like a square dip neckline i don't know if you could see it but this to me just looks like the perfect pilates top we got to go to pilates soon and it's full length and like i said i've just been really into wearing full length tops to the gym this is their butter material my favorite material that they have i could just see myself wearing this over and over and over again so she's definitely going to be used which is good and i think this was more of an impulse buy because i really didn't need this looking at everything i got but i got this same tank top so this one's the butter black tank top pretty much the same as the gray the material honestly feels the same it's super super soft i could see myself wearing this over and over because it's just such a good staple to have i feel like especially because i work out like four to five times a week so it's worth investing in like nice workout clothes because i am active so often and i live basically in active wear all the time i love being comfy and then is that the last thing i got i didn't oh no and then i just got this black and white contrast tank top i just thought it was a good tank top staple i can wear whenever and super comfortable for the upcoming hotter months because i'm always reaching for like a new just like something different for my tank top last thing i got is this tna trucker hat you guys know i'm a sucker for hats i have like a million hats because i have an addiction but this is only 28 dollars, which isn't like horrible for a hat how cute and it will match with everything since it since it's black i got my sister this one in green for her birthday and of course i go back and get myself the black but anyway this haul is just a sleigh did i spend 400 dollars? yes but these are all pieces like the only thing i can't see myself wearing repetitively every day is this but that's okay because this is like a cute statement where you know literally all of these pieces they're gonna be like repeats and staples in my closet that i know i'm gonna get such good use out of even the hat i've kind of been thinking when i'm shopping more recently is if i just put my money towards more staple pieces rather than trendy pieces then i'm gonna build more of like a long-term wardrobe rather than like just putting all my money in colorful pieces because i don't wear color that often and i love to trick 
with my brain that I do and so I'll go out and buy a bunch of colorful stuff and then I come home and I never wear it so I've kind of learned how to shop within the past few years and realized like what I gravitate towards on a day-to-day -day basis what I like wearing and revolve my shopping around that it's fun in the moment when you're shopping like oh like I could see myself wearing this but then in reality you're not gonna wear it like I'm not gonna wear it you know anyways very successful spring haul it just like refreshes my wardrobe a bit and it feels good and it also gives me motivation to you know work out put on a cute set all right you guys just about to go in and get my nails done this is the before i'm thinking about getting the exact same thing french tip but doing like a light pink or something just to make it you know fun and spruced up for the spring and i can always go back to white whenever so i feel like doing a pink will be really really cute to switch things up not in like a harsh way so yeah i think that's the vibe for today <music> Okay guys, new nails. I don't know if you could tell, but they're pink. They're so light that you can't really tell in this lighting. They're just very, very, very light pink. Cute for spring. I love my French chip thick. I'm gonna do the little tuna sandwiches that I showed you guys on Pinterest. I just cut up my cucumber. I just mixed a can of tuna with some mayo and some pepper and salt. And we're gonna stuff the little sandwiches. It's gonna be so cute. <laughs> Look at how little this is. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of salt on top of the cucumbers. Look at how cute they turned out. I will let you guys know how they are, but I know they're already gonna be good because cucumber and tuna goes really good together. But what a perfect little midday snack that's not too filling and it's such a good way to get some protein in. I've been trying to eat more protein for the new season just because I wanna see more, you know, results in the gym and stuff. That is a sleigh. I'm so happy I found this little inspo on pinterest this is why i love pinterest you guys look at these adorable spring bowls that my sister thrifted for me are you kidding me she knows i love cute antique dishware like this and she found these at the thrift store and she surprised me with them they're so spring they're so cute and i can't wait to use them oh my gosh my nails look so cute with them i'm obsessed it is that time of the year slash I guess new month anyways it is time to make some spring goals create a spring mood board and just get inspired for the season i feel like it's been a while since we've all checked our new year's goals at least for me so at least like quarterly i feel like it's important to go back and kind of review your new year's goals and make sure you're staying on track or maybe change them and just kind of check in with you know what you wrote already three four months ago which is crazy but yeah i just feel like there's no point of writing goals if you're not referring to them throughout the year if you just forget about them then what's the point so yeah, that's what i'm gonna do and then kind of write out some goals for this upcoming season slash month um and pin it up on my board put it somewhere where i can see it it's really important to do that putting inspiration and motivation in places where you're actually gonna see it so that you get motivated because if you just hide it in a drawer there's literally no point also this is a reminder that you can do absolutely anything you set your mind to you could do anything you could be whoever you want to be you just have to take the steps that are necessary to get there go out of your comfort zone be true to yourself don't care about what other people think because at the end of the day life is way too short for that so if you guys want to hear me chat more go listen to my podcast i don't even think i've announced it on a video yet but i made a podcast with one of my best friends talia and everything is linked down below so go subscribe to the youtube i would really really appreciate it but yeah i'm really really excited because i'm gonna get to just chat more with you guys on there and the episodes are gonna be like an hour long so you could spend more time with me which is fun so i have this um huge thing of scratch not scrap paper what's this called i bought this in the states actually when we went across the border like a month ago this has a bunch of floral designs I'm like oh my gosh how cute is that one i have that one up right now actually just so many cute ones so i'm gonna go through them and then pick one that matches kind of like the vibe for this spring and then what i'm gonna do i did this in march is i wrote down my goals for the season slash month on this huge cardstock thing in like big letters and then pinned it up on my board so that's what i'm gonna do right now switch out those goals refresh and then we're gonna make a mood board so let's do it i'm gonna go with this pattern how cute this really kind of reminds me of april for some reason so i'm gonna use it i love the purple i've been kind of into purple recently
here are the goals up on my board i really want to fill this board out eventually with like some mood board pictures that maybe i'll print out but how cute i'm just on my computer on pinterest let's look through pinterest right now and put a spring mood board together because i really do love getting a like a visual vibe of what i want my month slash season to look like Here is my spring mood board. I just put together a bunch of images that I thought were cute and what I want the vibe of my spring to be. This is available on my Pinterest, so go follow me on there. It's just at Michaela Bento. It's linked in the description. So anyways, I'm going to end this video off on this note. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys got some spring reset inspiration to do some of these things on your own write some goals make a mood board etc like get back on track with your goals but i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video